All right. Hi, welcome everybody. We're just going to go over some basic massage uh, basics that everybody can do at home. We're going to have our foot um, on our knee so that we can access that. And um, a good way to start always is to do uh, light strokes and specifically headed towards the heart. So we're just going to do some light, gentle strokes. And the reason why you want to go for, towards the heart is promoting blood flow towards the heart. And as we go up the leg, Justin is going to lift his leg and we can introduce lotion. If you're doing it bare skin, you'll want to use lotion. If you're doing it uh, over your clothes, of course, you can just do it as is. So just lotion yourself up, give yourself some nice strokes. And the reason why we're going up the leg is you always want to associate the muscles with what you're working with. So if we're working with the foot, we have all the calf muscles that connect to the foot. So it's good to include them. So we'll just give them some gentle relaxation. And then once you've done that, you can do some compression and some kneading. And as we get to the ankle, we have all the tendons that attach to our foot. And that's a good spot to give a little bit of extra attention to. We can use some friction with our thumb. Um, a good technique is cross fiber friction. So if your muscle tendons are going one direction, use your massaging hand to oppose the direction. So on our foot, it would just look like moving back and forth on our tendons. So we'll just kind of work those, work the areas around there with your thumb. Just massage around the ankle. And now as we get to the foot, we have the top of our foot and the bottom of our foot. Our top of our foot, we have some thinner muscles and some thin bones. So you want to be gentle there, but you can definitely want to massage those areas by taking a finger and getting in between the bones and the toes and just following along and massaging that way. You can do a circular motion, you can do an up and down motion, back and forth, just kind of, you know, release the tension of those muscles that connect those tiny little bones. And this is a good point to point out that the inner webbing of your thumb might be good for this. So you can also do this on the inner webbing of your thumb. This is what we're doing with our foot. And our thumbs are the tools that we use all day long. So it's good to massage those areas. So using that same concept that you can use on your thumbs or your metatarsals, just kind of release the tension in between there. And then you can move on to your toes and kind of pull on them, tug on them, move them around, separate them, wiggle them around. And this is the point where Justin's gonna continue barefoot, but I'd like to point out that with socks, all of these things are still possible. Uh, you can use more compression if the gliding strokes aren't getting you there. And uh, you can still separate the toes. And the next technique that I like is to take your index finger and go in between the toes and kind of create a rocking horse motion, like as if your finger were the base of a child's rocking horse. And as Justin does that in between all of his toes, I would point out that with socks, more of a seesaw motion using two index fingers is effective uh, to really get in between and separate those spaces. Um, if you're going to do massage with socks consistently, I would recommend toe socks that separate the toes, but whatever works for you is kind of the point. Um, and so once you've shaken out all of your toes and seesawed in between all of your toes, we can move on to the base of the foot. It's good to take your thumbs and just kind of spread out, use a kneading motion. Just 
So just take your thumbs and just kind of do circular kneading motions is the idea. Uh, you can also do the cross fiber concept with all of your fingers. And one of my favorite and easiest, most effective ways to deal with the bottom of the foot is to make a fist. So once you've made a fist, you can use the flat side of your fist to massage the entirety of the foot. Any spots that you feel need extra attention or if you want extra kneading, turn to using your knuckles. So knuckles out and just kind of dig into those areas that you want to give extra attention to. If that feels too sensitive or too intense, switch back to the flat or release the pressure slightly. And just kind of do that as long as you feel like you need to knead the bottom of your foot. You can move back and forth in between all of the techniques, um, paying particular attention. The um, Achilles tendon right here is a good one to do that thumb friction with, just kind of slide it back and forth. And anytime that your thumbs are feeling too um, worked, switch to your fist. This is also a good spot to use the knuckles. And if you have a partner, you can stick your foot straight up and have your partner rake your foot. I do that to Justin every once in a while. It breaks up a lot of the fascia. It can be quite intense, but highly effective. And once you've done kind of the deeper kneading work, you wanna go back to relaxing the muscles. So just kind of go back to your gentle compression strokes. You can, um, especially effective if you're doing socks as opposed to lotion, you can just deep breathe and use compression like the yoga breathing Justin taught you. And then just move on to another spot, do the similar compression. Or you can go back to the gliding, relaxing strokes that we did in the beginning. And that's it. All right. So you probably have another foot to do. Hopefully <laughs> that, uh, gives you some hints and ways to get going on it. Thank you very much. Once again, have a great day.